Nearly every day after classes for her early childhood education and care diploma, Rebecca Maslin and her mother return to a familiar theme, her exasperation with the new Workforce Australia employment program. It's not been a very good experience at all. Rebecca's studying full-time and doing 24 hours a week placement. Under the new points-based system, she shouldn't also have to apply for jobs to keep her job seeker payment. But she says that's not what she's been told by her job service provider. I often come back from my interviews feeling very frustrated and often in tears because I don't understand how to still how to use the system. Fred has access to training. Advocates say they've been swamped with complaints from Centrelink recipients trying to navigate a new system that requires them to earn 100 points a month from new activities, like training courses or applying for jobs, to keep their job seeker payment. People aren't being trained how to use this system. It doesn't appear that providers are being trained how to use this system because they're not actually helping people with this system. The peak body that represents job service providers says with 800,000 people switching to the new system, problems were expected, but they're working hard to get things right. And those early bumps in the road are a concern. Last week, Employment Minister Tony Burke announced a parliamentary committee would investigate Workforce Australia and report back in September next year. Changes can't come soon enough for Rebecca Maslin. I kind of feel like I'm being made to do all these things just so someone in an office can tick a box. I don't really feel like that's fair. In a year, she hopes to be working as an early childhood educator, not stressing over earning points. Norman Hermont, ABC News.